I thought we were over this. But this month, the Senate majority has sent the LGBTQ Pride Month resolution to committee just so that they cannot adopt it, despite the fact that it is the same resolution that was adopted in June 2021 after so much labor to get it to that point without even a period or a comma changed. I fought to get recognition finally adopted last year. Every year prior, it had been discarded without consideration. It is a non-binding resolution. It requires nothing of you. It doesn't change any law, although we should. And it doesn't cost you anything. When it was a finally adopted last year, no one's marriage dissolved because of it. No business shuttered. No church lost its religious freedom. But this year, curiously, this year, the Republican leadership regresses and again throws Pride Month back into the trash heap. I guess the cruelty is the point. They're in the majority now and have not solved any of our problems. Their agenda is to make you fear the gay agenda. But I am not the cause of your problems. My community is not the cause of your problems. I will tell you what the gay agenda is. I am a senator who is gay and leading the fight against price gouging of rising everyday costs that all Michigan families are worried about that they have not addressed. I am a senator who is gay working with my Senate Democratic colleagues desperate to pass common sense gun reform to keep all communities safe from gun violence that they are blocking. I am a senator who is gay that despite our political differences and working with them on bipartisan proposals on affordable housing, economic development, and police reform. There are LGBTQ people like me in all sectors of Michigan's economy who only wish to contribute, be good neighbors, and not have the government interfere with their freedom to live their lives. We are a community of good people. We don't need a piece of paper to tell us that. But the fact that you won't adopt it says a lot more about you than it does about us.